Hey you, so on this video, does asteroid mining present or pose a threat to gold and silver? I'm going to be going over just that, so if you like what you see slash hear and you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe. Now I've got a bit of a different format once again, getting the video out rather late for myself, so I'm not able to be in the same setup and location where I am, so I'm just going to be showing a load of pictures that I've taken for my Instagram account here so just flash these by hopefully I've got enough to display and just go over the question so um, this comes about because there was a gentleman in my comment section and real cool guy from my take he leaves a lot of positive comments but he had mentioned that he um, had looked into it and asked me to take a look into it and I haven't done too much looking into the whole asteroid mining aspect of it now from what I take of it Asteroid mining poses a threat to gold and silver because they're going to be able to mine these asteroids and find an abundance of gold and silver. It'll be a lot more easier to, to take out and you know bring back, and it's going to devalue what's, what we already have here. So he'd mentioned on his recent comment that he was no longer going to be investing in PMs because he believed it posed that much of a threat that the would be flooded with gold and silver, palladium, all the metals really absolutely totally devalue, and it'd just be a bad place to have your money. So. I'd done a small bit of research into it. There were others that chimed in and gave their thoughts and opinions. And I'll just give what I believe and whether I see it posing a threat for gold and silver and that it will devalue it. You'll now have a much larger supply, so you're dealing with supply and demand. You'll see a much larger influx and it will just absolutely kill whatever value we do have. And it'll be worth nothing, that big zero that people have feared and think many other assets go to. So let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below on whether you believe asteroid mining poses a threat to gold and silver. And whether you believe it's actually a problem, it's something we're doing now. You know, um, some in the comments had mentioned that um, we, we can't even get to the moon. And, and, you know, now we're up in the skies mining for asteroids. I'd mentioned Mac in a reply to the comment and that. I would never say nothing's impossible. Is it a tin foil hat moment? I would say yes ish. It depends really, you know. Do you believe in UFOs? You know, or do you believe majority of UFOs sighted are man made, i.e., you know, secret space missions from US government? What was the name of that secret base now? Area 51 and the UK and Russia and the likes of, you know, do you believe we went to the moon? As I've said once before, do you believe we went to the moon when we did eventually get there? You know, get to the dark side of the moon, find an alien base. How tight is your tin foil hat here now? And then was told we're not allowed to come back to the moon. You know, we've got a lot going on on Earth. We're already sociopaths and crazy individuals killing one another, maiming and, you know, believing and all the rest of it. And until we get our beep together, we're not allowed to come out into the cosmos or the universe and the likes of. Do you believe that or do you believe we just went to the moon, nothing was going on if we did go? You know, it, it balls into tinfoil hat territory because whenever you leave the earth, it's out of a lot of people's comfort zone. So, you know, it becomes Star Trek, it becomes Star Wars, it becomes sci-fi goo goo land. But there is some merit to asteroid mining. I think a simple Google search or YouTube search and you can see a lot about it. It's, it mainly boils down to the benefits of it where we are um, right now with it and where we can be in the future. From what I understand, the gentleman that left the comment believes that where, I don't know, he didn't mention at what stage he believes we are. I think in the, his last comment, it states that, you know, at, at some point in the future. So I think he believes in the coming future, we're going to be flooded with it. Now, I think if it was to be the case, I, I know we're mining and when I say where, I mean earth and, you know, the powers that be, we're going to be looking more at the you know, the petroleum boys, so the boys that run the fossil fuel scam going on at the moment, they've got a great thing going on, you know, uh, could we have clean, free, zero, free energy, you know, um, phones lasting forever, cars going on forever, but no petrol needed, I could definitely see that being a problem for the boys in charge, so, you know, uh, what's your theory on Tesla, um, what he presented for the human race, or maybe what he was held back from giving, because I could always see a situation like that where, the boys in control now, the, the power boys, the petroleum boys, you know, you got the electricity boys and the fossil fuel boys. None of this is going to work in their favor in the long run. You know, they like it how it is right now. So when we're talking fossil fuels and even rocks from diamonds to a lot of the precious metals, as long as they can keep that going on for as long as possible, I think it's most definitely something they will do. Are they doing it now? And does it pose a threat to gold and silver? I personally don't believe so. 
but can it pose a threat if they ever do decide to take it serious and fly out into the cosmos and start landing on um, asteroids and what was the name of that film and not the one with bruce willis when they get busy and do all that kind of stuff it, it's all you know woo woo sci-fi all out there at the moment but i think it most definitely is a possibility but i don't think it's something they're doing now now once again how tight is your tin foil hat you know do you believe in the dark government the dark budget what are they doing who knows i believe there is some form of a dark government out there most definitely stuff and things we're not told about because it's not in the public interest but I can't see them interfering with the metals right now. The metals, they have a great thing going on. A lot of people believe when the manipulation ends, when they say the manipulation is all part of the scheme that they've got going on. I don't think it's one of the things that they're doing that it's like this big conspiracy to keep it manipulated. I think them manipulating it helps them make more money. So, you know, they're going to make it on all ends when it goes up, when it goes down, when it crashes. They, they always get theirs. So I don't believe the manipulation is the big scam here. I think the longer they can keep this game going for is a fantastic scam. The second it crashes, not to forget they gain when the stock market's up, down. They know when something's going to crash. Day, day, day once again. How tight is your tinfoil hat when you hear day? Who do you believe I'm referring to or you're referring to? Are we all just too tight tin for hat cuckoos but you know i don't think it poses a threat because i think it's more of a mission right now there's a lot going on on the planet there's many other ways that they can try them up and get you know the people on board i.e war and divert attention there's leaving the earth doesn't seem to be a massive thing at the moment you know we have all these um what's the name those little missions we have going to mars and the likes of and no one's really wants to do that i know resources on the planet are tight from the overpopulation so you know at some point we're going to run into a dead end or a full stop with just how we feed the people the resources that we have on the planet everything from um home, housing everybody on the planet and feeding everybody on the planet it are massive problems at the moment and a lot of problems that stem from the overfill at the moment that we have with the polluting of the planet but i don't think we're there yet whereas we're going to be looking into the cosmos for solutions i think we're i would say centuries away before it's even a possibility i still think they need to start uncovering a lot of things before we can even start looking at it as a viable option and something more serious at the moment i believe who is it china or one of them has said they're going to start the space travel or going back to the moon again and see what's happening up there but when you look at it it's like what for you know, at the moment, we know there's a lot of resources and minerals out there on these asteroids and out in the cosmos that haven't been tapped into and touched. But I think the Cabal have got a great thing going on with what they have here. They're, they're not going to be running out anytime soon. They can always introduce small baby pigeon steps. If you gave people, as what we're doing now, we're at the hybrid stage in life, I believe, where we haven't fully stepped away from fossil fuel, but, you know, we're not going full way. Electric cars are still struggling while you still have the comfort and the luxuries that you're used to now an electric car may offer you 300 plus miles on a full charge but that's without the radio the window you're driving like fred flintstone basically so i, I i'm not interested until we can get further and better results i believe they are out there once again the tinfoil hat i believe a, a lot of things are out there that are no time going to be introduced i think we're being strip fed a lot of things you know tomorrow have you got the possibilities of a phone battery for instance the most hard intensive user getting a week's worth of battery you'd jump and leap for joys with that but knowing what's out there and the possibilities you know that's how i think we're getting spun and drip fed everything where it interferes with the metals and how it does i don't believe that would be a situation because it's just the metals ain't at the forefront of things they're in a comfortable enough position where silver is dirt cheap it's an industrial metal it's the metal that's going to be more expensive than gold, yet they can afford to run the scheme or the scam where they can basically have it suppressed and being purchased for pennies. You know, it can't be that valuable. They're able to do the suppression on those levels. It's true value is supposed to be up in the three or triple digits. Then, you know, they don't seem to believe that. I think they're in a position where they can make something hot and make something not. And regardless of how you look at it or what you think or believe it should be it's at the not phase you know it's just not to them and that's how they see it they're all 
roads lead back to them in the long run anyway. If we hoard gold or we hoard silver, the second we cash it in, it could be a process where it all ends up back in their vaults in the long run anyway. If we're cashing it in for whichever type of money that they produce and mint, unless you step out, out of the system and look at the real big picture, all roads lead back to them. So this gold coin you're seeing here could eventually end up back in their coffers, back in their vaults, because they'll be the ones putting the call outs to the dealers that basically we're buying. It'll be some type of government scheme and you'll have to deal with your local dealer unless you intend to hold this for decades and centuries and just keep it going down in the family. But then it doesn't serve its purpose, the retention of wealth and then that wealth transfer into something else be it property or some other type of resource so i think as long as they run that game where they control the money literally as they've said in the, back, in the past then you know they can literally play a game where they could make gold a hundred dollars an ounce a lot of people would see that as a fantastic buying opportunity but then you have to look at those that really trust and believe in that system and would dump and think you know just like that they're able to make something that was once deemed wealth and extremely important worthless do you want to be holding it so it's a game that they can play where they're controlling both sides of the boards so i don't think it poses a threat because i don't think they're really intimidated or scared of males they could in easily introduce a new system and because we're living in such a a cradle society where people need to be spoon fed and like being spoon fed and don't really want to stand up and look after themselves they're gonna do whatever simon says but that's my thoughts and opinions on whether asteroid mining poses a threat to gold and silver i don't believe it does i think maybe in a couple of centuries when we have flying cars and the likes of when we've taken those steps when you know they may be drip feed or release what they do have in terms of um dark tech that they're not mentioning i do believe it is there but you know we'd have to go into tin four hat realm and really start talking on that but i don't think it poses a threat right now i wouldn't look at that as something to stop me from purchasing gold and silver because i think they're going to flood the market tomorrow but i would love to know your thoughts and opinions on whether you believe asteroid mining poses a threat to gold and silver so once again please do go ahead and let me know what you think about this video and leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll catch you guys in the rebound.